Jim, Senior Engineer at Singamo, and in this video I will explain the main differences between the S250 and the Q550 Series 3 and 4 pin time switches and how they should be wired. First of all the term 3 pin and 4 pin. This stands for the connection pins on the back of the time switch. So if we remove the mechanism so it's you can see the back and you can see connection pins located here and you have corresponding terminal positions within its base. These are numbered on the actual plastic starting on the left hand side with terminal number one. If we start with 3 pin time switches, these are for 230 volt applications only, where a common live supply is being used to operate the clock and also provide an input for the switching circuit. In terms of wiring, you would have a live in to terminal 1, a live out from terminal 3, all neutral connections to terminal 2, and lastly, you would have an earth to the side connection. This, the product must have an earth connection. And that's the wiring for a three pin time switch. If we look at four pin time switches now, these have independent clock and switch connections which enable a different AC switching circuit voltage to be controlled from that of the 230 volts required to run the clock. For instance, you may wish to switch a 110 volt AC machine. Essentially you've got a volt free AC contact and you can also isolate the switching circuit independent of the supply to the clock. So in terms of the actual wiring of it, Terminal 3 is your live in to the clock. Terminal 1 is a live in for the switching circuit. Terminal 2 is your live out to your load. Terminal 4 is for neutrals. And you've got, again, you've got the essential earth into the side of the unit. If you have a 4 pin device, but only one supply, then one way to get round it is to make a to, to fit a link and you wouldn't have an independent supply for the switching circuit but instead you would link from the clock live through to terminal 1. So you'd link from terminal 3 through to terminal 1 and you're now using the same live supply that's being used for the clock and you're using that for the switching circuit as well. <music> Lastly, there's a special 4-pin time switch model Q563. This has a changeover contact enabling you to switch between two outputs, for instance two machines. The wiring is therefore different to normal 4-pin time switches and similar to the three pin requires a common live supply to be used to operate the clock and also provide an input for the switching circuits. In terms of wiring, you have a live in to terminal one and you have a live out from terminal two to your 20 amp rated lever B A circuit. You have a live out from terminal 3 to your 10 amp lever B circuit. All neutrals go into 4 and finally again you have an earth into the side. So I hope 
hope that's been of help. Uh, for more how-to videos, please visit our website at singamo.co.uk. Thank you.